We're here with Christian Slater, and Christian, you're here promoting the new TV series Breaking In, and um, uh, could you April 6, 9.30, right after American Idol. There you go. And I was reading kind I'm of a trained. <laughs> it's like Pavlovian. It's weird, you know? I really just, yeah. I see the saliva. April 6, I, just, I know, 9.30. Um, yeah. That's um, just my response. April 6, 9.30, after American <laughs> Idol. Okay, okay, I'll start. So, Christian, I read on um, a description of the show. Promotion Tourette's. I know. That's what I, know, I have. I know. It's weird. I, it's, yeah. I think you can get disability for that, my friend. <laughs> I know. Um, Some kind of insurance so claim. I, I heard that this show was described as kind of akin to the A team of corporate America. Okay. Could you tell me a little bit about what that what that means here uh, in the context of the show? I guess uh, you know the A team was certainly fun and uh, had some uh, goofy characters uh, in it, and they would go on these crazy missions. Uh, and uh, I suppose there there are some similar elements in, in this particular type of scenario. It is it is uh, I've heard it described as sort of the A team meets the office in a lot of ways. Um, but uh, you know, for me, I, I get the opportunity to play this kind of offbeat, eccentric uh, boss who who tends to have some unorthodox methods as to how to uh, to get certain things done. But he is dealing with a, a little bit of a wild bunch. I mean, they are a ragtag group, and they do have some skills that, uh, if not properly handled, could be motivated to the dark side. Definitely. So uh, Oz has to sometimes rule with a little bit of an iron fist in order to keep them on the straight and narrow. Sounds intriguing. Thanks. Yes, yes, I can see the A team connection, kind of a oh, yeah. ragtag group on the underground. Yeah. You know, I could, I could see that. And, and there's a lot more going on also beneath the surface. I mean, Oz is definitely a character who's got his, uh, his hands in a lot of different pots. He's, uh, yeah, more will be revealed over time as to, as to what is really going on. Uh, behind the walls of this particular office. There you go. So it sounds like uh, viewers need to tune in and kind of find out the inner workings of the Contra group and see what's going yeah, on. The with beauty that. of it is that uh, you know Adam Goldberg is, is a, a very, very uh, creative guy, very good writer, and uh, he you know, very much like Star Trek had a five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, Oz has a, a five-year plan. Okay. And only over time will it be revealed as to really what that is. See, I like that because a lot of shows nowadays are kind of disposable. A lot of people, you know, they're only shows like Lost and other shows that really are serialized yes, now, to go the long term. Lost, I don't think uh, the, uh, the five-year the five plan, we're, we're not dead. Okay. Right? Okay. We're, there's not going to be a, a, the final episode where you're going to wake yeah, up and you're yeah. going to see well, Christian's well, eye. A dream. Yeah, yeah or something. No, we're not in purgatory. Uh, you know, there, there is an end game. Yeah, yeah, buddy. There we go. We'll get to know. Soon. All right. Thanks, Christian. Thanks Very for your time, man. Thanks Good for luck. Okay. Me, man. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.